What's up, guys? What's up? Brian Van Dyne here. I am eating dinner, just so you know. My pasta roni. Still living that uh, cheap life. You want to say hi, honey? Hi. Hi. Hey, don't be showing your food when you're eating. Anyways thought I would go live. What's up, Richard? Hey, we're back. <laughs> you thought I was going to turn down that $20 super chat, Blake? <laughs> That's funny. You know, you know I was turning down that $20 super chat. <laughs> uh, what's up, old crony? Where's the tablet, honey? Can you give me the tablet? What's up, Rich? Somebody's live stream already got deleted, just so you guys know. Already got already got taken down. Got too many dislikes or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. You were raking hay earlier. How's that? That's better lighting. That's what was about to happen with mine. What's up, Josh? I've been hearing uh, some people got their shirts already. I heard some people got their shirts. That's pretty sweet. Not everybody's gotten them yet, though. What's up, Aaron? What's up? If it was one of these. Just like your checks. <laughs> <coughs> That's funny, Blake. Let's see if I can. You guys are always saying it will show the messages on the chat, but uh, all messages live chat. It still doesn't ever show the messages. Like the chat as they're going up and down. Let's see, what's this? Oh, I can just change the effect. You guys want to go black and white on this? Silver screen. There we go. I don't know. One thing. Old crony, she's good. Been apart for you. You're almost done with it. Wait on some body parts. One thing, dramatic effect. Yeah, because I see things in black and white, guys. I don't know about you guys. When you call somebody out for something, you better have proof. And I don't know. I'm done on that subject. Anyways, I just wanted to stop in on the live stream. It didn't get taken down. They took it down. But, uh, recently, uh, with hiring the new driver and everything, we had to, we just started doing payroll and stuff. Uh, and so we switched from QuickBooks desktop to QuickBooks online, which I want to tell you guys how much sweeter it is. Like, it is pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that $20 super chat. Where's he at? <laughs> <clears throat> Brian, yeah, somebody called me out and then, you know, and then refuses to mention anything about it. Yeah, where's Joey at? Joey was there. Rich was there. Blake was there. Uh, Richard was there. Yeah. Oh, we got 94%. Don't sweat the small stuff, but yeah, no. 
I mean, it just irritates me when somebody attacks my character, you know, because I'm really proud of my name, you know, and everybody knows that because number one, I wear it on my shirt every single day, you know, my name means a lot to me. My word means a lot to me. And for somebody to come out and call me and say that I have a reputation of being a liar. Yeah, I see black and white, man. That's wrong. You're going to call somebody a liar and then tell them and then and, and say they have a reputation of being a liar and then not tell them what they lied about. And then also not say who is who else is calling them and saying that they have a reputation of a liar. That's clout chasing. That's clout chasing. You got no proof. You got no grounds to talk like that. And that just shows that you got no character. You know? Having a pretty face isn't everything in the world. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, I don't see color, man. I see right from wrong. You know? And I think all you guys see that too. You know, that's why you were on there asking her questions. And she just block, 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 delete, delete, delete. You know? Because she knows it was wrong. She knows it was wrong. <laughs> You're right, Blake. It has it has got you pretty far. <laughs> I'm not mentioning names anymore. I'm just I'm just I'm done with that whole thing. What's up, Wayne? Things are going good. Things are going good. I wanted to show you guys. One of the main reasons I hopped on here is because I wanted to show you guys the... Here, type in the password for me. <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys the QuickBooks Online and how cool it is. What's up, Beeson? Okay, I want to show them it, but I don't want to show them any, you know, I don't want to show them any, you know, craziness. I can show them this. This is pretty cool. So check this out, guys. It's pretty, pretty easy to do, pretty easy to handle. Thanks, Chaka. This is QuickBooks Online. You got your shortcuts. <clears throat> um, it's super cool. You can click on invoices. You can fill out an invoice. I can do all this from my phone. Yeah, I can go back to color. I got I got the effect done. I got the effect. Right. Why did you switch it back to shutting off every 15 seconds? No, I changed it. I changed it. No. Yes, I did. You can go out and you can fill out invoices on here. It's pretty sweet. Can't read the tablet. Yeah, it's... I mean, I just wanted to show you guys how cool it is. Uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. Also, another cool thing about this is, like, I don't even have to put in my receipts anymore. Like, it's directly linked to my bank account. So... <clears throat> it should automatically be put in there, which is pretty sweet. That's what we have for QuickBooks. You guys have QuickBooks online, Rich? It's pretty sweet. Like, you got the shortcuts, and then you got the other ones, right? All the other things that you can look up, that you can do. <clears throat> It, it, I will say, it, the one thing that I'm not too 100% thrilled about, uh, it does, it does show that, uh, you know, you can look at graphs and stuff, but it's not as in-depth as the desktop version, I'm pretty sure. But here, I will show you this. This is pretty sweet. You guys are probably going to want to see this. What up? 
I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see this, but. So this just kind of shows like the income and how things are going, you know, to date, basically. You can see things ramping up. Somebody says hi, honey. Brian says hi. Hi. Anyways. QuickBooks Online, dude. It is sweet. Like, I can take this with me. Hi. Hey, don't be spitting in my food. Hi. Um. Hi. Hi. Kids, man. Hi. She's got slobber all over her. <laughs> Honey, you probably go wash her face. <laughs> Before she starts hugging people and wiping on everything. Where my pie, Mackenzie? Uh, Joey, only I get to demand Hi. pies. <laughs> Hi. So, I don't know, everybody's excited to see you guys. Sweet kids, yeah. Yeah, they're very good. You know, I, I've been blessed with my kids. There we go, there's that $20 super chat. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Alright, time to check out. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, man. <laughs> uh, I was just showing everybody the uh, QuickBooks Online. I just switched from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. One of the major things that made me switch from uh, QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online is we just hired somebody and we got it we had to start doing payroll another thing that prompted that was was it three months ago on accident I was trying to make space for YouTube videos right and I accidentally deleted my main QuickBooks file so we had to go to a backup that was like three months old and we had to input all that data over again and some of you guys know how much data that is that's a lot of data you know all those receipts had to be dug out of the filing cabinet all those invoices all those checks oh man it was just it gives me a headache just thinking about it can you, can you give me some water please Thank you. i'm doing a live stream <laughs> um and so now I don't have to worry about that because everything's on the cloud, right? So shouldn't have to worry about deleting that. But now th I suppose there is a bigger risk of, you know, somebody hacking into QuickBooks database and stealing my info or something like that. But I'm not too worried about that. If I was, I wouldn't be a YouTuber, you know. How much longer will I be on? Uh, we got to leave here at 525. And it's, let's see what time it is. 4.50. I got another 30 minutes I can chill out with you guys. Um, Thank you, sweetie. Pie is good. Pie is all good. Yeah, pies are amazing. Well, I'm waiting for the troll on my channel to reply back. Right. I'll snap. You better buy some ice cream with that. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to buy some ice cream with that. Yeah. <clears throat> What did you think of CP's feed? Uh, CP, I don't think you sent me that one, Joey. You sent me Mike's, and you sent me uh, the Heavy Wrench. I've already been on both of their channels before. I got $20 today for helping Ray K today. I got, I got to drive my dad's Dodge around. Been waiting to ask. You, how much many more tons can the super dump haul compared to the triaxle? Good question. So the triaxle can haul 15 tons, 15 and a half tons legally, and the super dump can haul 24, 25 tons legally. So basically 10 tons more. You know, so almost double, basically. What size home are you guys building? Uh, the square footage of our house is 1,200 square feet. I'll show you the layout of it. Okay. 
So as a lot of you guys know, here's the wall right next to the kitchen. Here's our goal right here. Here is the exact house plan from Highline Homes. It's 1,200 square feet, nothing, nothing real big. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two car garage, really simple. Uh, just flip this around though. Yeah. We're not getting this one. It's gonna be the exact same, but flipped the other way. So if you live like no one else later, you can live like no one else. <laughs> you know, and we're still on that Dave Ramsey stuff pretty much, you know, except for the fact that I, you know, did buy that big super dump, which, was a lot more debt than Dave Ramsey would probably agree with. Uh, red one ton, yes. We would love to build a shop. Eventually, we're going to have a big shop. It's going to have a few bay doors, maybe one or two. Not sure how big. But as you guys can see, we're still on that macaroni and pastaroni deal. You know, so we're still on that, you know living that good living the American dream here so that's pretty cool pretty cool I gave you gave the snap on man your address oh well <laughs> that's funny Joey yeah a lot of you guys that uh, are on my channel, maybe you don't know, but I've actually never been on the inside of a Snap-on truck or a Mack truck or any other tool truck. I've never been on the inside of a tool truck before. Um, yeah, Blake, that 20 should help with some potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, not missing much. <clears throat> exactly. It's just basically the same as a department store, ain't it? Except for everything's triple the price. Where do I buy the majority of my tools at, Brian? Yeah, Blake, I got more vodka. Water is the keyword for vodka. <laughs> Um, all my tools, most of them come from Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, my grandpa, um, Harbor Freight, uh, O'Reilly's, and that's basically it. week I actually got a uh, a video I think you guys are gonna enjoy coming out pretty soon I started doing some editing mm -hmm. on it uh, probably won't be coming out till probably mid next week or something like that but I actually do a kind of a in-depth showing everybody what tools I have and uh, you know Kind of which ones I think are kind of necessary for a dump truck business. Honestly, in the dump truck business, I think you can make enough money. You don't ever have to buy any tools. You can pay somebody to do everything, but you just wouldn't have any money left over. You know what I mean? So it's just cheaper to buy your own tools and then, uh, you know, then you get to keep more of your money. My newest tool is this one right here. My wife got this for me. This is the extended 3 8 ratchet Milwaukee. It's locked. I, I'm going to get one of those tool cards like you got the U.S. General. Jason, I'm telling you, dude, you're going to love this thing. You are going to love it, dude. It is, it is sweet, man. Unless you're like a mechanic and you got other mechanics making fun of you. You know, you'll like it. Yeah, it's great for home use. You can buy every tool I own at Harbor Freight and Sam's Club. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, this thing, ever since I bought it, I've been so happy with it. You know, very, very happy with it. And I will say, I think it's a great idea to buy this this thing. I, I really do like it. Used to be collision repair guy. Now all those tools are about useless. I I just love this thing. You know this toolbox. Uh, you know the one thing I would say is it's not really great to run over gravel. You know, but no tool cart really is. Yeah, Rich. I agree with Rich. It's not the brand of the tool that makes the mechanic. It's how you use them. That, amen to that. You know? And... So, Blake, there isn't really any room in there for the Milwaukee. It's going to be sitting up top. You know? There we go. Pittsburgh. Or performance tools. Those are O'Reilly's brand. You know, just ins and odds and stuff. You know, just collected. We got Husky. We got Power Torque. Power Torque is O'Reilly brand. One thing I would say you got to have if you're running a dump truck business, you got to have some sort of big impact gun. And I've owned this Central Pneumatic for two and a half years. This is a one inch gun. It's paid for itself time and time again. Even though it's the cheapest brand out there, it's paid for itself. Because when I could afford this, I couldn't afford the, the, you know, the Milwaukee and all that other stuff. Hell yeah, I'm proud of you guys sticking up for me, Joey. I mean, I would do the same for you guys, you know? If somebody called you a liar and then refused to tell, you know, if somebody said you had a reputation of being a liar and then they didn't even say who said that and what you lied about, hell yeah, I'd stand up for you. Hell yeah. You know? Just goes to show, you know, that you're on the same page as me. Like, you guys understand what is, you know. Anyways, this thing has taken some serious abuse. Like, you can see it's gotten beat up pretty good. Like, you can see the scarring around it. Um, so, we may have to replace that sooner or later. But, tell you what, man, it's taken a beating and it's always gotten the nut off. You know, it, I've never not had a bolt or something that it couldn't take off or break. Yeah, I agree with you, crony. I have a snap-on half-inch 18-volt impact, but everything else power tool-wise is Milwaukee, grease gun, ratchets, etc., um, what kind of pressure are you running? What kind of compressor are you got? Supply that thing. Dang, both of you guys on that same question. Uh, I'm a little underpowered on the compressor side. I got a Porter Cable air compressor. It's got the, uh, it goes up to 150 PSI. And you can, you know, adjust that PSI too. It, it's got, uh, what's it, 5.3 SCFM. I've owned that air compressor for, it's a 40-gallon. I've used that air compressor for probably about five years now, six years now. It's, it's a little underpowered for what I need. Um, I just, I really don't have the room to get rid of it and get a taller, a bigger one. I like this one 
because it's just barely enough to do what I need, but yet it has wheels on it and I can still move it, you know? So, uh, it's like the bare minimum, you know, basically. What's the next piece of heavy equipment you see yourself buying skid steer? Uh... I probably see myself buying the skid steer or another dump truck next. That's plenty unless you want to sandblast. Yeah, it, I mean, here's the thing. I also got it set up with this this airline right here. This is half inch airline, right? I think this is half inch. What does it say on it? Yeah, half inch airline. Half inch inside the airline, right? Well, and I will say it's it's a little under it's it's definitely underpowered for my plasma cutter. It's also underpowered for my big one inch gun, but I put the bigger hose and the bigger fittings on it and it you know It'll take them off. It'll take everything off, but you got to let it build up after, you know, a certain amount of ones, you know. Plug that thing into the 359 so it stays aired up overnight. <laughs> yeah, it would be running a long time to get that thing aired up. Yeah, maybe a, a used super dump, super dump would be the next one. Skid steers are good quick money makers. I work a full-time job for somebody else, but make quick, easy money with my skid steer on the evening. How about super nup new house then super duty? Yeah, Blake, I can I can agree with that. <laughs> I can agree with that. Um I don't know. Me and my wife, we've been kind of discussing like how big do we really want to get too? Like that's a legitimate question. Like how big do we really want to get? You know, how much headache do we really want? You know, and I mean, we already have everything we ever wanted. You know, we got a family. We all love each other. We all take care of each other. You know, everything else is just extra. You know, the way I look at it. I yelled, it feels like I'm playing cards with my cousin's kids. Now, you don't want a used super. By the time most companies are ready to let them go, they are trash. Yeah, that's probably right. I I, I do know a guy that bought a used one out of Texas, and, uh, you know, he said it was worth the money he paid, but, you know, he's fixed everything on it. Yeah, Blake, right? No, you don't want a Gatling gun. <laughs> Nah, I wouldn't want one of those, never. I think I'm going to be happy with three or four trucks. Three is a good number. And you're healthy, you're blessed. Yeah, Beeson, like, we're all healthy. You know, we all got food on the table. You know, that's, you know, everything else is a blessing. What? Yeah, we got blue and orange paint right there, huh? Yep, that's brake cleaner. Blake, do you have a... F yeah, Blake has a full-time guy. You farmers probably know what I'm talking about. You'll get something from, like, Peter and Keats that was used out of Hanforth. Eight years old, has, like, 100,000 miles, hey, but 30,000 hours as far as used goes. What? No, you don't need that. Leave that alone. I mean, seriously, guys. Look. Look at this. I am so blessed. So blessed. Two dump trucks. Nice pickup. Nice excavator. You know, I couldn't ask for more. You know, nice. I'd feel bad if I kept asking for more, you know? Nice bike. Wasn't worth 8K asking. 15,000. Huh? Yeah, we got a nice motorcycle. I want the old Pete so bad. 
I always say I'd never sell it, but if somebody walked up to me with 50 G's, I'd sell it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. 50 G's would make me sell it. I couldn't say no to that. I didn't want to hear you say nice trailer. Yeah, I got a nice trailer too. Two nice trailers. Impossible to find parts for one of them, but... Still a nice trailer. Does does the work every time I need it to. It's never left me stranded yet. I didn't hear you say nice trailer. Husqvarna lawnmower. Uh, we got a Scott's lawnmower and it's broken right now. Go ahead and repower the old Pete. I'll snatch up the Detroit. <laughs> This is uh, actually broken right now. The clutch that engages the blade broke off. How's the driver feel about hot rocking? Uh, so far, I think he's confident now. He, uh... Hey, go around to the front door, okay? He's confident now. How's the dealership treating me? I hate him. Not the not the way I would expect after spending three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Turn it into a mud mower. <laughs> it won't even start though. That's the problem. There's a switch. There's a switch. Uh. Yeah, I'm never going to buy a new truck again, I don't think. Unless I buy cash for it. And it ain't going to be anything complex. Like a super dump. It'll be just a regular dump truck. I mean, honestly, like, me and Kinsey feel like we don't really need to make any more money, per se. We just need to save what money we do earn and, uh, you know... Use it wisely, right, honey? Yeah. How many trucks should I have? Tops. I have five the most. Five dump trucks. Amount. So I'm probably not gonna get more than five. But it's your company. So. Yeah, it's my company. But but just two trucks is five. The money yeah. flies, but um, if I want to go big, then go big, but yeah. See, I mean, it, it all just depends how we're feeling, you know. Some days one is too much, and some days, you know, we could have twenty. Dang, five. Felicia said three or four. <laughs> I'll go with five. <laughs> Right? Yeah, it's just like a few, a couple. A so. couple. But Blake said, Blake? Yeah, yeah. Blake. But that one they didn't have any super dumps at the Richie Bros auction. Here, come in a little closer, honey. <laughs> so, so they're yeah. not like going cross-eyed trying to see both of us. I don't really want to see me. Oh, they want to see you. You're beautiful. <laughs> Your smile is contagious. <laughs> Just for you. Yep. Get in there real nice and deep like. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to shut the camera off if we get any closer, Blake. <laughs> you guys have to do more super chats to see that. <laughs> yeah, are you laughing? Is that funny, Rosemary? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it PG. Blake, you just made me spit my juice out. <laughs> What's up, work life? We're just chilling here. Go to Texas. This is supposed to be a dump truck channel, not Pornhub. <laughs> Camera lens is getting foggy. <laughs> you got your t-shirt yesterday. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. Heck yeah, there's one. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, we need to send Sheila's out still. We haven't sent yours out, Sheila. We sent a whole bunch of them out. We're still we're still sending them out though. We need twenty pieces. The door jam has a sticker in it that says "Built by proud people of Warren, Michigan," and the parts were made in Flint. So yeah, my truck is made. How's the weather? Uh, weather's good right now, but it's supposed looks like it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. A, Gotta pay for that super day. dump somehow. Yeah, Blake. <laughs> Don't worry though, we'll get it out. We know how much you love blue and orange. Those Florida Gators. <laughs> I expect you to wear it to one of their games or something. Yeah, beautiful family. Got your hat. Daddy stole your hat. Got your hat. Stole your hat. Yeah. Dump truck hub. <laughs> you almost got hit with the R rating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to demonetize my video and make it uh, age restricted. <laughs> So, uh, what are you guys up to on this fine Sunday evening? Sixteen. 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 Sixteen.
I don't know about uh I don't even know, Blake. That's a great question. Yeah, yeah, without a stinger. Stainless bed. I've never even heard of a stainless bed before. Hey, thanks for thanks for tuning in and thanks for that super chat, man. Attack man. You rock, dude. You have a good one. Yeah, it's either newer, lower mileage for less money but smaller motor or get an older truck with a big motor and steel bed for more money. Joey, his name is real Rick Harrison, but his grammar sucks. I don't want a 370, but price is hard to pass on. <clears throat> There's always a reason that something's cheaper than the other, Blake. You know, supply and demand. Who makes the best beds? Uh, here in Washington, the biggest bed manufacturer that I know of in Washington is OSW, Old Sturdy Weld. Um, I don't like their logo, though. It looks like a stick figure taking a poop. I'll be honest. Yeah, not Columbia. I ain't happy with Columbia right now. Not happy with Columbia. <laughs> Definitely not Columbia. They're supposed to be taking care of the super dump problems that I've had, and they haven't done nothing yet to help me out. Yeah, basically, old crony, that's what it looks like. It looks like a stick figure taking a poop. Honestly, I like the Pioneer box. Um, I have a Pioneer box on my Detroit, and it's, I mean, the thing's old. It's got to be old. So, you know, it's lasted a good good amount of time. So, they did a good job building it, you know. doesn't have a lot of cracks or nothing, surprisingly. And the, the bottom's getting pretty dented out, though. It's It's getting pretty bad. I'm thinking next year I might put a new floor in it. Work life, it has a pioneer box on it. Blake says, I want a T880 or a 567. But I'm poor. <laughs> You'll get there, Blake. You'll get it, man. Don't even. You got two trucks already, man. <laughs> you just got to get both of them working. I want to see a better video. Of the of the red one, you got to you got to do a better video of that international so I can see what you're talking about because I couldn't see it in that live stream. You have to go back and show me what you're working with. Gonna reline it with 450 hard ox like me. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a possibility, Blake. Like we just have to. I just kind of have to see where the truck is at. Uh. What time am I rolling in the morning? Um, driver's got to be on site at 7 tomorrow. So we got to roll here at like 6 or something like that. Yeah, Blake. That's what it is. Yeah, it is, old crony. That's what, exactly what it looks like. <laughs> I sent a picture of it to Blake. He started busting up laughing. Yeah, I, I've also been thinking, Blake, like, instead of doing the metal liner, what if I just put the plastic liner in there, you know? And see if I could stretch it out that much longer without having to reline it with steel. Have you thought about that? <clears throat> um... The other thing is, is like, is the emissions stuff going to get to my truck before, you know, liner is nice. Yeah, see, I've been thinking about doing a liner on it 
instead of replacing the floor, just doing a liner. I don't know how it would hold up to broken concrete though. I, I do haul quite a bit of concrete. Yeah, they're rated for the asphalt. Plastic is fine for rock, but concrete and big stuff will tear it up. I've heard of people doing that, but the plastic liner was more expensive than doing their AR450. Really? Dang, Blake, I thought it would be the other way around. Use a half inch AR plate around here, have a couple going on 10 years. Should be okay, my Mac. We do crushed concrete, but slabs with with really would really do a number. Yeah, I don't really do slabs per se, but there's some big chunks. You know, two by four feet. You know, four feet by four feet. Sometimes there's some pretty big stuff sometimes uh, that they'd put in there. I wouldn't mind putting like a demo box on there. You know, something that is like a boulder box, you know. But they just look ugly to me. They look so ugly. You know, that's one of the downsides of those. Yeah, how much does a half inch AR one? I don't have no clue. It'd be heavy though. A heavy steel tub is the most durable. Yeah, work life. I agree. They they are the most durable, but they're ugly. You know, if they're not double walled, they look ugly. I think they look like the ugliest um, truck boxes ever. Like I'll be honest, the Pioneer box is the nicest looking box ever designed. I think that's the one on my Peterbilt. Yeah, my truck is a 1985. you seen how my quarter-inch AR450 is holding up. It was 4K to do my AR450 floor, and it was 38 if I did a liner. Holy smokes. Do, you, do they put uh, broken concrete in there, though, Blake? Daddy. Only a quarter-inch. Dang, that's... You ever say to yourself when the operator drops the concrete in your truck, dang, man, easy. Oh, trust me, Beeson. I look in the mirror and I'm like, dude, are you nuts? Like, <laughs> you trying to ruin my truck? I mean, it don't happen very often at all, but sometimes it'll slip out of the thumb, you know, and oh, it's just like, oh, that was painful. I might have to do some welding tonight. <laughs> We have a single wall hard ox 450 with a side skirt at the bottom and it looks great. Yeah, see that would look good. I can see that work life. I like them smooth side boxes. I've hauled broken concrete with the air 450 it takes no damage. Dang. Yeah, see I may have to look into that, Blake. The question is, is would I have to have my floor cut out and then that put in? Or can they, you know, like how much weight would it add if they just tossed it on top and welded it in? He was hauling a trailer to the trailer. It looks like something bombed off underneath. Luckily no one was hurt. <clears throat> yes, yeah, sometimes I think they do it on purpose. Yeah, I, I agree, Beeson. Yeah, it, I've had my, I don't think, we got to get going. What time is it? 524. 524. Okay, we gotta get going. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes I think they do it on purpose. I have had them stabbing my floor with the teeth of an excavator. That's why I got the no scooping from bed sticker. Holy smokes. Yeah, I, that wouldn't fly with me. I'll be honest, that, that would not fly. Lay it straight over. How much weight did it add, though? I mean, that adds a, a lot of weight, I think.
My driver's asking me what's the word for tomorrow. Hey guys, I gotta get going. I gotta make sure everything's going good for tomorrow uh, with my driver. Make sure, see if he wants to drive the old truck or not. Um, didn't find any work for the super dump. Nobody's doing the paving because it's supposed to be raining like a mofo. So, see what happens. All right, guys, I gotta catch you later. Uh, not that much heavier. All right, guys, don't forget to pound that like button, pound that subscribe button, and thank you all for the super chats, and thank you guys all for hanging out with me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy your shirts that are coming up pretty soon. Uh, I'll catch you guys later.